They say the best weapon is the weapon you never have to fire. I respectfully disagree and prefer the best weapon to be the one you only have to fire once. That's how my son does it. That's how America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. So find an excuse to let one of these off the chain. I will personally guarantee you that the bad guys won't even want to come out of their cave. For your consideration, I give you the 40 millimeter grenade launcher. All right, guys, I know that was a huge explosion. Uh, everybody's okay. We're back here at the headquarters, obviously, here in the showroom. Thanks for having fun with us on that. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was, in all seriousness, not necessarily the launchers themselves, not necessarily the ordinance, but uh, a new offering that we have coming out. We've got our new five banger hanger, uh, as you can see here on this chest rig. And we have our singles as well that, uh, can complement a belt rig or you can put them other places like when I used to run 40 millimeters in the military which was kind of like don't leave home without your 40 millimeter that was my personal mindset and a lot of my team guys their mindset as well because working in small unit tactics um, it's, it's if you get compromised it could be potentially by a much larger force so if we look at how we would engage with the fight formula what do I need to do what's a risk I'm about to take plus my resources available and is time working for us or against us? Well, I've got a pretty good answer right there. Okay, yeah, we've got a higher, bigger enemy force that's on us. Um, we have time's working against us. We gotta get out of there. So I need resources available. So we would send that 40 millimeter downrange first. So if you imagine four, five, 40 millimeters in a saw, Mark 48, Mark 46, ripping off, you just created a posturing psychological effect on an enemy that thought you were a small team. Okay, so that's why we loved using them in the military. And of course, as you can see in law enforcement today, uh, there is no end to how many 37 and 40 millimeters are being fired in the streets uh, with all the crap that's going on in our country. Um, so with that, whether you are a law enforcement officer, or military guy, uh, or you're a hobbyist, I just love to have launchers, you know, for flares and beer cans and all that crazy crap. Um, you know, you got your destructive device, you, you need to educate yourself to it. So if you want to educate yourself more to those things, uh, I know my uh, grand thumb just put out a video a couple days ago about all these launchers uh, from M79s to mill cores to M203s, et cetera, et cetera. I uh, talked about almost every piece of ordnance out there except the HEDP grenade, which is, you know, a little hard to get right now because they're extremely expensive and you got to get them in a lot of bulk, but that's for a different time. So if you want that information, guys, go check that out. Now, Mike also did a teaser release of the five banger hanger. Um, and now I got to give it to everybody. So thanks, Mike, for doing that. All right, so five banger hanger, guys, we're going to talk about that one first. Um, it's a really simple product. It's a hanger that uh, if you look at, here's a Ranger green version with black, kind of a two-tone. Everybody loves that black and Ranger green look. Um, just got some mock-up rounds in here right now to show how a 40 millimeter HEDP grenade would fit in this. Um, this has a, it's a traditional type of hanger system that can go underneath the chest rig as you see here uh, or underneath any type of plate carrier. Um, and then you can also, I've seen some guys modify them on their legs, put them on belts, etc. cetera. Um, if you wanna do that, you can. It is a stiffener, it's a pretty, it's not a heavy stiffener inside because I do want this to articulate with my body if I need to. But why don't we put the stiffener all the way in the back and use advanced construction techniques is so that when you do go to load this, which I'm gonna show you guys later, we're gonna go back out to the range right after this here in a minute, and I'm gonna show you guys some quick tricks uh, to maybe get your ordnance on target and reload your launcher a little bit faster, okay? <clears throat> we use a, a two inch, Gripper elastic, which has never been really used this way that we know of in the industry. So the gripper elastic is actually on the inside. You might see typical gripper elastics like on handgun holsters that wrap around your leg like Safari Land would use. Um, that gripper elastic holds onto material. So this actually does very well for holding onto the metal or the plastic of the 37 or 40 millimeter round. So we use that inside, so therefore you could still have an open top design. They're very stiff, they're hard to get out. And again, I'll show you guys how to do that so you can have a fast speed reload on your launcher. Um, standard hook on the back, loop on the front, which is gonna fit most all plate carriers and chest rigs out there that have that particular type of configuration on the back of them. Um, 
So again, really easy, simple design, and you can carry five extra rounds of heat, as I like to call it. <clears throat> That's the Ranger Green. We've got black as well. It's probably a big law enforcement favorite here. Um, this has the 37 millimeter launchers inside of it. These are just uh, rubber ball rounds, baton rounds, etc. But you can see how higher these are, right? These still hold in very tight into the gripper elastic. Uh, you can put flare rounds in here as well. So talking about the specific height differences of these two types of munitions, you can see your ride height is going to change as well. So if you look over here <clears throat> on these M781 rounds, these chalk rounds that are in here, um, I've got it almost all the way up underneath the chest rig. So what happens is as I go to load, you're just bending it out and it'll come out as an angle. Again, you'll see that later. Um, and if I want to put the flares or less lethal on here, I can actually drop that down a little bit. Still have much, a lot of surface contact, so it's not going to be uh, tearing off your body. It's very reliable. Okay. You can also use it for other types of auxiliary equipment, CS grenades, um, flash bangs, nine bangers. Uh, so there's a, a plethora of different sizes. You can see the smaller CS grenades from ALS. Uh, these still fit in there very nice. You can even keep the spoon inside the gripper elastic as well so your spoon is, is contained. Uh, on most of your flash bangs, you can do that. This is the IWA from... Um, this is a great munition. Civilians can actually buy this now. So you can go to IWA and check out some of their offerings and see from their smoke grenades to their thermobaric bangs to their multi-thermobaric bangs, which are awesome. We use them in force on force training. We use them in some munitions stuff. Airsoft, Milsim guys are going to love these types of things if they haven't seen them yet. And of course, they do fit in here if you like to crash the house, if you get my point. So again, lots of different things you can do with it. <clears throat> on the single, uh, because that's pretty much it on the five banger hanger. On the single, it's a simple pouch, right? Same constructions. You still have your, your, uh, your gripper elastic on the inside, okay? And then you have your molly on the back. It's a pretty simple design, okay? And you guys can put those wherever you need them. We offer these guys uh, in black, coyote, and multicam for right now. Uh, we'll probably throw some co other colors in the mix here pretty soon. Five banger hanger, multicam. Coyote Black and Ranger Green. We do have a Ranger Green five banger hanger. Uh, I know Ranger Green's kind of an off color, like right now it's really hot, so we'll probably add some of the singles if the demand is high. So um, guys, that's pretty much it on this stuff. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to put those comments down below. If you have color options or you're, you have a question about how to load these or different ordinances, put them in there. I'm sure there'll be a lot of great answers coming back from all those fans out there. Um, and I'd also be remiss if I didn't talk about the the M781 chalk round, the Cheeto round as we call it. So this has actually kind of been, well, it's illegal now, okay? So, which is kind of a problem. And the ATF throws out like, you know, it's a blanket of law that's out there and the ATF may misconstrue it. They may misunderstand it. They may say, well, everything over 50 caliber has to be basically a destructive device or is an explosive. Well, we know the chalk round's not an explosive round. So when everybody starts hating on the ATF, right? Um, just like with the pistol brace stuff that's going on right now with, with Q, the Honey Badger, um, you know, SB Tactical, everybody's been attacked by the ATF because I think there's a big misunderstanding. So the best thing that I can tell you guys to do as a call to action is to educate yourself because ignorance gets created very quickly in these situations. And as we know, looking at the world situations, ignorance is the biggest problem because ignorance breeds hatred and hatred breeds destruction. And as you can see what's going on, that's what happens. Now we have ignorance to, well, why is this illegal? It's not an explosive device. The ATF doesn't know because they haven't looked into it potentially yet, right? I'm assuming. Uh, but maybe they do and go, wait a minute, that's not a destructive device. So we're trying to bring that back. I'm the kind of guy that believes in it's a republic. If you can keep it, if you know that old quote from Benjamin Franklin. So let's keep doing that by educating ourselves to prevent the ignorance, to prevent the hatred back and forth between organizations and government that should, in theory, be helping us as Americans in a republic. So guys, if you want to know more information about this kind of stuff, um, actually the Ordnance Lab just put out a phenomenal video on everything. So if you do own these guys, these Cheetos, uh, they are legal unless you take your 38 Smith & Wesson blank out of the back. Um, now, they're shipping, so dealers and distributors are still shipping these. They just won't come with these in it. They'll be in a separate container. So again, go to the Ordnance Lab, check out their video. Those guys did a phenomenal job on that uh, if you want to know more.
So guys, that's it on the single 40 millimeters and the five banger hangers. And hopefully you guys keep looking into that information. Let's head back out to the range and let's fire these things up. We'll see you there. All right, guys, using the five banger hanger and the singles on my back here, I'll show you that in a second on my belt. Uh, what you need to take in consideration, it's a new piece of gear. Just like any new piece of gear, you need to test it. You need to fit it right correctly to you. Just don't slap it on. Now, like you, if you look at mine, you can kind of see that it's hanging a little lower, but it's still not even past my belt line. So I can still articulate. I can still move up and down because of the way that stiffener is built inside of it. Sitting inside of a vehicle is just fine, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, I can run higher rounds right now if I want to. I can put illumination rounds or less lethal rounds uh, for 37 millimeters, like the batons and the rubber rounds that we talked about earlier. Uh, I can also take these Cheeto rounds, these TP rounds, or HEDP rounds and move them all the way up almost to the bottom of my plate carrier if I want and still be able to get to them very quickly, which is what I want to show you right now. So when you're manipulating a round out of the hanger or even off of the single pouch, what you want to do is find a method that works for you. You can reach down and certainly just grab one, but it might be a little bit harder because of where it is tucked and depending on how much gear you have on your body. Uh, I prefer just the, the finger method. So if I choose to grab a round quickly and hastily, I'll just take my thumb and put it on, let's say the first round right here, right on the primer. Then I'll take my middle finger and start to press up on the egg so you can see it pops right into my hand, okay? So thumb and middle finger presses it right into my hand as I go right into the breech, okay? So that's probably the best method to utilize. Um, if you wanna get the first round, you just switch it, right? So I need to put my thumb on the second round and come back this way and then it'll pop right out of my hand. Again, as far as the ride height of how high or low you have this, if I did bring it all the way up to the bottom of the carrier, and I utilize this technique. When I start to grab it here, you're just gonna bend it out and pull it this way. So you always have the ability to pull it out if it's tight. So don't think you have to wear it really, really low, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it on the five banger hanger deployment. So try those techniques all the way across your hanger until you get all your rounds expended. As far as the belt goes, running the singles on my back here, it's the same deal. Now these are clear right on my back so I can reach down and literally pull one of these out if I want to. I can also still use the finger thumb method if I choose as well and bring it around to the front. Okay, so this is a very simple concept. You can run these all around your back if you want. You know, like some guys like to wear the bandoliers which are still a great option. Um, but I don't tend to carry that many a lot of the times. So I would typically have five, six, seven, eight, one on the gun and then have a bunch in the backpack or have a bandolier on standby. Because I never leave home without the HEDP. It's always been my friend in combat operations uh, from day one. Uh, I started in action with this thing. So the 40 millimeter is very near and dear to my heart. Um, and wanted to share that with you guys in these new product offerings. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm Travis Haley, reminding you that there's never a lack of evil in the world, guys, for us to be good Americans and do the right thing. If you like this video please put some comments down below talking about different color options and stuff like i reminded you earlier and stay sharp and be safe guys thanks for joining me